Before we get going, um, you know, I just want to start off by uh, thanking the guys that are going to Dallas, uh, Chris Stapps, Timmy, uh, Trey, and Courtney. Um, they were uh, unbelievable professionals for me. Uh, it's never easy uh, for a coach in these moments because you get so attached to guys. Um, you know, you go through a season where you struggle. Uh, you spend a lot of time together because you're the only guys that uh, – can understand it. So I miss those guys, um, and I really appreciated uh, their approach to helping us. And very excited for the new guys we have. Um, you know, they're going to be uh, a nice lift for us. Uh, injuries, Luke and Isaiah uh, are available tonight um, from an injury standpoint. Well, you know, they're just so versatile. Uh, they, they, they can hit you from a lot of different places. Um, obviously, uh, they're one of the top defenses uh, in the league. They've, they've, that's been consistent for them throughout the year. Um, uh, obviously, it is, is limiting mistakes, uh, um, not giving them second shots, I think is very important, uh, and, and limiting easy baskets for them. Uh, and hopefully, uh, that, that gives you an opportunity to compete with them. No, they won't be dressed out tonight, um, but uh, I've gotten to talk to all three of them. Yeah, they popped in. Yeah. Just your whole reaction to the decision to trade Chris Dapps, who you talked about so much and what you thought you were going to be waiting. No, this is this is what the situation called for. Um, you know, obviously, I, I never got to coach him and was excited to coach him. Uh, we had a really good relationship, um, but he had to make a decision, and, and he, he felt that it was best that um, he get a fresh start. And so I thought that Scott and Steve really did a great job of, of bringing back um, a really talented kid in Dennis, um, some some really proven solid veteran players, uh, and Wes and DeAndre, guys I've competed against in the past that's really given me problems. and. Uh, to get back uh, two first round picks is, is, you know, that's pretty dang good. And, you know, we cleared 30 plus million dollars. So um, you never want to see a player go, but we're, we are excited about our future. <clears throat> not like that. I wouldn't say not right. I never felt that. But like Scott and Steve said last night, you know, we felt like over the you know, a short amount of time, we started to feel some distance and, and some indicators that, um, you know, we felt like we had to, to clear up some things and get clarity, and that's why they met. You talked a lot about one of the things that you're optimistic about was having him know that you had him bring back. What gives you optimism now? now well, just what I said. I mean, I, I think the kid, Dennis Smith Jr., you saw the other night that there's uh, some serious talent there. Um, you know, uh, I look forward to working with him and developing him. Um, you know, we're bringing back two guys that's, that's proven in this league at what they do. Uh, DeAndre being a guy who I think can really uh, help a Mitchell Robinson grow while, while helping other guys understand their defensive responsibilities. Uh, and, and Wes Matthews, a guy that's been a two-way player for, for his career, um, a guy who can also talk to, spend time with Dot and, and Zoe and Kevin from the wing position. and. You know, make them really understand spacing and, and defending one on one in situations and things like that. So, I thought those was all wins. You know, the the other wins are are pretty self explanatory. You get two first rounders and thirty two million in cap space. That that's a lot to be optimistic about. That one actually wasn't on me. I don't actually know how exactly that came about. Uh, I was just notified that the meeting was taking place. I can't tell you exactly. It was just recent. It was a little more recent. Well, we always try to, you know, I just try to talk to these guys all the time um, and try to keep them engaged as much as possible. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, things take their course. And, and, you know, at least I just felt like we at least we had a pulse on it. 
and felt like it was something there, and, and obviously it was. And, and the fact that he was up front and honest with us, we really appreciated that. And, you know, these are the things that happens in this league. Jamie, you weren't at the meeting? No. I wouldn't say exaggerated. I say 10 days, a lot of stuff can happen. And you just, you can't really put a thumb on when it starts, when the disengagement starts, but you can feel it. You know, this league is a, this is a people's league. This isn't a, we're not robots. And so there's days where a guy could be overly engaged and then a film session just into it and all of that. And then two days later, he can feel out of it or maybe absent. And so that can, you know, spot here, spot there, and you just start to feel that vibe. And, you know, the fact that I just like that, you know, it was it was clean, you know, both parties came together and talked it out face to face and, and, you know, expressed how they felt and it wasn't a messy deal. And I just thought that was class on both people's part, on both parties' part. When this happens like this, do you have any kind of feeling of, you know, is there something else I could have done to make it happier? Or, you know, no, uh, you know, I, I, I can't think that way. Um, you know, this is that he's he's obviously been here and, and has dealt with whatever he's had to deal with throughout the course of his career. Um, I can't personalize that and, and put that on me. Um, obviously, I really worked hard uh, to build a great relationship with him. You know, going over to Latvia and everything, and really, really trying to involve uh, him and in, in a lot of the stuff that we're doing. But at the end of the day, these guys have to make decisions based on what's best for them. And uh, he felt like that was best for him. On the overall trade, do you have any true regrets, or is the possibility for the future enough? No, the, all I do is look forward. I'm really excited about our future. I like where we sit. Uh, I like our talent, um, and I like our flexibility. You also have to hear a lot of complaints about what the acquisition of Kevin James I don't know what it means for him. <laughs> I don't know what it means for any of them yet. You know, this is all so new. So, no, I haven't talked to any of them about that. I'm still, you know, just trying to figure it all out myself. No, I don't think that. No, because I don't think that's fair to – that's not a fair assessment for Scott Perry. That's not a fair assessment for me. We just got here. Um, you know, we're trying to build something from the ground up. And, you know, it doesn't mean every, this is for everybody. Um, you're trying to build something that, that everybody feels valued and included and, and you know, a part of. Um, but it doesn't mean that everybody's going to want to be a part of it. And so um, that's the kind of environment we're trying to create. We want people that really want to be here, that really want to uh, build this with us. And, um, you know, unfortunately, that wasn't the case. No, I mean, I definitely would, would like to have, you know, I'm going to have engagement with the players that we meet with. Um, but, you know, other than that, I trust our guys to, to get us where we need to be. And, uh, you know, honestly, that's as far as I can really talk about it. Yeah, we talked last night. We had a great conversation last night, um, you know, and, you know, obviously both of us wished each other well, kind of laughed like, man, we never even got to get on the court together like we wanted to. And. Um, but at the end of the day, this you know this league is funny um, how it works and how it how you know things come back around in certain ways and uh, we left it in a great place and I, like I never the whole time we were together here I really felt like we had a good relationship so I, you know I leave with I leave it with no regrets with that.